Welcome guys, my name is Brandon Lawson. This is the Art Barn Studio. Now I hope you are joining me for this paint along. This is a shark and I know there's many shark lovers out there that love to draw and paint sharks. So I have created this paint along so you can join in and create a shark that you can hang on your wall. So go grab all your materials and head back here. Okay, we are gonna start on our shark paint long. So let's just quickly review what I've got in front of me. I've got my canvas. It is horizontal today, um, cause we're gonna be doing the whole body of a shark. I've got my um, chalk. I've got my permanent marker. I've got the paint brushes. Um, I'm gonna be using a foam brush as my first one. This is gonna be painting the background and then a medium round brush. Um, we do have some points as in the fin, so I want something pointed to make sure I get those little spots. Paper towel, let me grab my water. And then I've got my plate. Um, so far, the only three colors you need are a blue, and it can be any shade for the water. I'm using a pure blue, or pale blue, I'm sorry. White, and then a gray, a natural gray. So. The first thing we're going to use is our foam brush and we're going to paint all of the edges and sides with this paint. And then once we do that, we can toss this away. So make sure that your um, space is covered. Once I get the sides painted, I'm going to throw a paper towel down before I, um, when I stick it on here, it'll get paint on it. So just make sure your area is covered so we don't get paint on it. So I'm going to speed through this and get this blue on as our base color. Okay, so I got my first layer on with the blue. Again, remember to get all of your edges and just spread it out so there's no clumps. The more clumps you have, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I'm just kind of making sure there's no big clumps of blue paint. This can go in the trash can. Your canvas or paper will need to air dry or you can use a blow dry blow dryer to speed up the process. But this has to be completely dry before we move on to our next step, which is drawing the shape with our chalk. So air dry it, blow dry it, and then meet me back here. Okay, so my first layer has dried. So I make sure by just rubbing my hand over it because the chalk will not work um, on wet paint. Now, get a little dry paper towel handy because as we draw the shape of the shark, if you feel like at any point you don't like it, all you do is have to gently wipe off the chalk and start again. The chalk will disappear. It's not a permanent thing on the canvas. It's just to guide us as we paint. So our shark is horizontal. That's why I have my canvas horizontal. Now we don't wanna take the top of his body all the way to the end because we have his fins and not all the way to the top because we have a top fin and a bottom fin. So I'm starting closer to this side and it's kind of an arch and I don't wanna say rainbow. It's a very small arch, a very cur little curved line. Again, room is here. I may have made it a little too long room up here. Now, once we get to the belly, the belly's not going to be as um, small of an arch. It's going to be a little bit deeper. So I'm going to come down and then curve towards. Again, leaving this room open because that's where his tail is, his tail fin's going to go. And like, I feel like mine's a little too skinny. So you can see, I'm just going to wipe this off and try it again. There we go. Okay, at the area at the tail. So on the top part right here, this part is curving that way. The bottom is curving that way. Now I noticed my top one is a little bit shorter than my bottom one, so I wanna make it a little bit more the same. Once you get those two, again, they're going opposite direction. We're gonna start at the top and curve in to this part. So I feel like mine looks a little too skinny. So again, see even Miss Lawson has to do it over. I don't want to erase the whole thing, just the, just the tail. 
Okay, so what I think I need to do is as I curve, I need to bring those out more. There we go. More out towards the corner. Right now it looks like a fish, exactly. And again, my lines are a little messy, but don't worry, we're gonna cover them paint, they'll be wiped away. As long as I know where I'm painting, I don't need to keep erasing. Okay, our normal top fin is gonna go in the middle, so it curves towards the top like a diagonal. And then you're gonna slightly curve in to make it look like a shark fin, the ones that stick out of the water. Now we're going to be using gray and white, so we need to separate his body. So we're going to start towards the tip of the nose and then draw a line towards this part of the tail. This is going to separate gray from white. And then the bottom fin, we're going to go directly down underneath the top fin. And then this one is kind of curving more that way. Okay, so chalk goes away get the chalk off my hands the next step is moving to our paint with our brush again if any point you need to pause me so you can make sure you get where I'm at please pause me we are going to start with the white it's going to be from that line down not this fin this fin is not going to be white so I'm just going to trace right over my chalk lines And once I do that, paint it in. Okay, so I'm gonna get this washed off, so please make sure that you are getting all that paint by gently bouncing on the cup. Don't tap it, but just dab it on your paper towel. We wanna make sure all the water gets off, because if you get watery paint, it's just gonna make the paint not work as well, and it'll drip if you're on a easel. So our gray, and we're not gonna blow dry because we're gonna kinda blend these two, two colors in a minute, but we're gonna paint right next to the white, the very last. So I'm gonna start at the top, And this is why I like the round brush, because I can kind of get that point, then follow it. Again, I want to go down this tail before I get close to the white. And one more spot, I'm gonna come down here. Try to stay separate. Okay, so once I've got the majority of the gray painted in, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right over that. I kind of want the white and the gray to make a light gray and blending it in. Now I'm not gonna take it down into the white, so watch how I do this. I'm gonna get a little gray and I'm just gonna go right on top. You can see it kind of blends it already. Then I'm gonna wash all the paint off my brush. Dab it, to get all the water. It needs to be a clean, dry brush. And then I'm just gonna make sure I go right over that little area. And gently pull it in to the white. Again, I don't want to take the gray. I'm just mixing it in right where those two colors touch. I made it a little white. The second place I'm going to do that is right here where this other fin is. So again, I'm going to get a clean brush, dry brush. Right where these two touch. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got all of our lines filled in of our chalk. We've got the belly of our shark. We've got the fins, all the parts. So this layer must dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush off. Don't leave your brush in the water. Go ahead and just get it all the paint off. Dab it off, leave it on your paper towel. The next step is our permanent marker. So it's very important that this layer is completely dry because a permanent marker will not work on wet paint. Okay, while that is drying or you're blow drying it, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my space. So the great thing about a paper plate is you can throw that right away. You're gonna dump your water out, rinse your cup, um, rinse off your paintbrush, and your paper towel is also trashed. So go get your area clean while that is drying, and then we're gonna finish up with our permanent marker. Okay, we are at the last step, so make sure it's completely dry. You may wanna take a dry paper towel and gently just rub off all the chalk so it's off. Your Sharpie needs to be a good Sharpie. Again, it has to be Sharpie for us to go over our drawing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace, which is follow all the outside lines on our shark first. Again, so I went around the whole outside first, then we're gonna go and do the add a little detail. So where the gray and the white meet, we're gonna go right there. And then we're gonna add the eye and the mouth. Now I'm gonna make a happy shark. Feel free to add whatever eye you want. It's simple and easy, closer to this end. I'm just gonna do a little you. And then the mouth, since we couldn't do it open, this, that would be a little bit harder. I'm just going to add a simple mouth. Now, if you want to add teeth, you could stop here. Or once you add the top of the mouth, it's a V. Then you're going to draw triangles next to each other on the top. Triangles on the bottom and then you're going to take your marker and you're going to color around all of that so there's two different types of mouth now the last but not least is to sign our art since we are the artist remember you just want to put if you have a short name your short name or your initials the first letter of your first name first letter of your last name and you have completed our paint along shark so i'm gonna get my marker make sure the top's on put that back and now you are ready to hang your shark um, in your house thank you for joining on this paint along i hope you enjoyed painting the shark with me um, and remember Feel free to tag me at Brandon Lawson. I love to see your paint along or your draw along creations.